What's up with the Small Workshop Guy YouTube channel? Hola, woodworkers. Paul Carlson here, Small Workshop Guy. <laughs> I just blew my papers, my notes all over. So I'm going to have to stop the video and pick up my notes and put them back in order. <laughs> I thought I would give you an update on my plans for the next couple of years for my YouTube channel. To do that, I'm going to put it in numerical order for you. Number one, I will continue to produce the What the Heck Is series of videos. Those will come out every Saturday morning at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. No, I don't get up that early. YouTube has a way for me to tell it when to release it. That will continue to be for beginning woodworkers, short, one item at a time normally, and just something that would be helpful to beginners as far as vocabulary and tools and various concepts and so forth. Number two, I will be doing some build videos. Those are obviously gonna be somewhat longer. They're gonna be more detailed. There'll be more instruction involved. And again, they're generally designed for beginning to intermediate woodworkers. Uh, some of the things I'm going to do there is I have an empty drawer in a cabinet that I've redesigned, a workshop cabinet. So I'm going to, my next video will probably be a uh, building a drawer using the quarter, quarter, quarter method. I did a video earlier overviewing that method. This time I'll show the actual steps and the actual build from beginning to end. In addition to that, I'm going to do a small workshop cabinet. going to be kind of a simple one, but I'm going to do a face frames first build. Uh, and then show the quarter, quarter, quarter uh, drawer system again. And then also talk about how I put on the face fronts and how I finish off uh, workshop cabinets uh, with both just some wood wax as well as uh, lacquer. In addition, I'm gonna be doing a deck box. That's a box to store things out on the back deck. Mine's starting to fall apart. So I'm gonna replace it. Uh, I'm gonna use what are called castle joints. I just like the way those look and I wanted to build something with them. And so that'll be the perfect project for that. And then finally, I'm gonna do a planter trellis with a, a planter box on the bottom and then a trellis designed to uh, kind of shelter the deck uh, from the prying eyes of neighbors and stuff, and also support ivy and things like that growing up. So those are the build videos coming up that I know of right now. I'm gonna be doing a comprehensive shop tour, kind of an update for that as soon as I finish a couple of cabinets. And in that, I'll be talking, do it multi-part. Part one will be just layout concepts and the principles of organizing a one-car garage workshop. Part two will be a discussion of the big toys, the big boy toys, big girl toys, whatever you want to call them. Which ones I have and what I think about them. Part three will be kind of different, I haven't seen it before, It'll be more of a discussion of the small toys, the hand tools, the various small toys, the drill drivers and things of that nature uh, that a beginning woodworker might want to start acquiring for their shop. And I'll talk about some of the mistakes I've made as far as spending money for things that I really don't use that much. We're gonna talk about in part four, jigs the various uh, table saw jigs, band saw jigs, drill press jigs, things of that nature. A lot of them are utilize the match fit dovetail clamps, and so they have match fit dovetail grooves in them, and that's a very, very useful uh, concept for building workshop jigs, so I'll cover some of those. I think I have eight or nine different jigs uh, incorporating the uh, match fit dovetail clamps. And then finally, I'm going to talk about workshop maintenance. The way I'm going to do this, though, I will put in the description a timeline, and so you'll be able to go to the part that you're interested in and not have to go through the whole thing to get there. All right, so we're going to do a comprehensive shop tour. I'm going to be doing some virtual shop tours. Uh, we've done some of those before. We did one at Don Bean's shop. We did one of Mike Newitt's shop. We did one of Gary Podger over in Australia. Uh, people like those. Those are doing well. So I'm going to do more of those since the emphasis of my channel is small workshop. 
one car garage workshops. I'll be looking for smaller ones than those three uh, and talking about organizational ideas with those workshop owners and introducing you to the characters that inhabit some of those workshops. Number five, I'm gonna be doing in-shop live tours. In other words, I'm gonna to go to workshops. Number six, I'm gonna start a new playlist on my YouTube channel and it's gonna be related material, loosely related. What I'm gonna do, I already told you in number five, is I'm gonna visit real workshops throughout the US and maybe lower Canada. And in doing that, I'm gonna film those and publish it. Well, how am I gonna get there? I'm gonna go out on the road uh, and what I call the Old Coots RV Adventures. And, and that it should be adventuresome. So at age 80, I'm gonna go out on the road. I've already bought a uh, Ford F-150 with some towing capacity. Yet I'm gonna get a little Airstream. I've already bought a little uh, gimbal camera so that I can take nice walks and walks and talks and those kinds of things and document things and interview people. And I have bought a DJ, DJI drone, the little uh, one called uh, Mini 2. What I did find out about the drone, which I wanted to have in order to make things very interesting as I do visits and scenic tours and show my adventures, I just think that makes it much more interesting. I found out that because I'm gonna show that drone footage on my YouTube channel, and because I make you know $3 a month from YouTube for their ads that they run on my channel, I have to go get a commercial drone operator's license. And that involves about 20, 25 hours of classroom work, not real classroom, but online classroom, and uh, a two hour exam at an FAA, Federal Aviation Administration uh, sanctioned office in order to get a license. And that's good, because if I'm gonna do that, I wanna know what I'm supposed to do and how I'm not gonna bring down some 747 somewhere full of people. Well, it should be a very, very interesting uh, adventure. I'm probably gonna basically prove or disprove whether or not an 80-year-old old coot can go out on the road by himself and survive. I'm sure I will have a lot of things to display and a lot of mistakes that I will make and a lot of situations where I will get into trouble and I'll try to grab my little camera and document those for the RVing world. You know, maybe I can encourage some other people to uh, not just sit in their study at age 80, 80, 85, whatever. Who knows how long I'll be able to do this. Uh, I kind of see a motto here of the, the old coot rages on. The old coot rages on against the grim reaper. I kind of got a visual image of the grim reaper chasing me down the street and I'm trying to outrun him. And so far I'm, I'm doing okay, staying ahead of him, but who knows when he'll finally uh, decide to catch up. Uh, old coot rages against uh, grief. A lot of you know what I will be grieving over. The old coot rages against an anonymity. Say that five times fast, anonymity. That means when, when I do finally kick the bucket, I would like some people to say, hey, I knew him. He was pretty, he was pretty cool old coot. I liked him. Too bad I won't be able to see any more of his mistakes in woodworking. Well, anyway, that's my motto. The old coot rages on. And uh, probably what will happen is my two adult sons at some point will come out on the road, they'll get me in somewhere in the outback of Wyoming, and they'll say, Dad, it's time to come home. <laughs> We've been watching your videos, and <laughs> this is not something that you should continue doing. So that's probably the way it'll end. That's what I'm planning on doing. Uh, should I'm going to have a lot of fun. Hopefully you'll come along for the ride. So please subscribe if you want to see some of that uh, nonsense that I do. And uh, give me a like and a comment for this video if you would. And always remember, you can't stop the waves, but you can learn to surf. Small Workshop Guy, telling you what's up with his channel, signing off.